It's all coming to a head, folks. We got lots of government waste reports that you guys are sharing with us. Lots of shortages, lots more products out missing, prices going through the roof on a lot of different things. I got a ton of reports coming from you guys flooding in of things that you're seeing all over the place. Let's jump right into them. Welcome to the Poplar Report. I'm Steve Poplar. I'm an accountant by trade. And this is your show where you guys send in what you guys are seeing on your store shelves, what you're hearing at your workplaces, and what you're experiencing out there. Thanks for sending in your updates. We appreciate them. We do want to thank our sponsor, Genesis Gold Group. They make this all possible. Uh, if you have retirement accounts and you want to get them into silver, gold, or platinum coins, physical metal in your retirement account, you might want to talk to Jonathan and his team. They keep doing a fantastic job. So uh, let's jump into your reports. Um, Joyce uh, points out that uh, Japan is buying Nippon Steel, is buying U.S. Steel, uh, reportedly for $14.9 billion. Uh, and Joyce asks, why are we selling our manufacturing supplies uh, to other countries? And, you know, Japan is an, a close ally, and U.S. Steel is a publicly traded company. So uh, if it's publicly traded, it has to be able to be bought by whoever wants to buy it. But uh, that is definitely a question when it comes to strategic things like steel, that is definitely concerning. Now, they probably will not be closing down the production facilities here in the United States. What they'll probably be doing is uh, continuing operations, but uh, under new ownership. So that is, that is definitely something you'd be keeping an ear to the ground on. There may be consolidation. Americans may lose their jobs over the course of, of being bought out like that. This is uh, from another viewer. Question, who controls the Suez Canal? Uh, is there a, char a charge for going through the canal? If so, which country is going to be affected with the loss of revenue? So the Suez Canal, uh, which is attached to the Red Sea, where we're having basically all the shipping is just stopping. Uh, everyone's stopping. Uh, there may be a bunch of uh, revenue coming from uh, people uh, who crossed into the Red Sea that are going to turn around and come right back out of the Red Sea uh, because they don't want to go around Yemen right now. Uh, but the Suez Canal is owned by Egypt, and Egypt is an ally of Israel and an ally of the United States. The United States gives lots of defense money to uh, Egypt because, you know, we need to defend the Egyptian borders, just not our own. And uh, that's, that's a lot of that money is basically going in order to, to prop up Sisi um, or Sisi, uh, who is the president there, who just got reelected. And uh, yeah, it's a big deal that they're going to lose a lot of money on revenues for ships going through. I think it's like $9 million a day of revenue that the uh, Egyptian government is not going to get. And that is being held over them. Uh, it is leverage that Iran has on Egypt to try to turn them to uh, start uh, making decisions that are counterproductive to Israel. Um, that is all definitely part of things. This is from another viewer. Yesterday, U.S. Bank was down until about 7.35 a.m. Uh, when you pulled up your account, it said balance as of 11 hours ago. And the credit card uh, balance showed a zero. I called and asked, what the heck is going on? I could hear her typing away, and then she told me to log in again. Then it all returned to normal. I've never seen this in my life. Uh, so we'll keep an ear out for what's going on with U.S. Bank. If anyone else is having issues with U.S. Bank or any other banks, please do let us know. Uh, to send in an update, just use the word update in uh, a comment on this channel. Just do a comment, use the word update. Uh, if you need to email me, you can email me at poplarpreparedness at gmail.com. Uh, T. Koff says... Uh, I live in Western North Carolina, about an hour from Charlotte, and I have severe COPD and have a, a daily inhaler, uh, Trilogy, I guess, a rescue inhaler and Avatarol uh, inhalant solution for my nebulizer. Um, I went to my uh, doctor appointment for a refill on meds and a checkup only to go to the CVS uh, pharmacy afterwards to get the scripts and to be told that the Trilogy and the uh, Avatarol uh, were not in stock and that no other local CVS either has them. Uh, when I asked the pharmacist how long it will be till they have it, they said, well, we can't say. We order them both every evening and hope that they come in the next day. I am worried because without that medicine, I won't, it won't be long until I'm in the hospital. 
and, and we're hearing a lot of stories from you guys about that type of thing. Uh, a lot of medications are short right now, and uh, there are serious, serious issues. Arch says, uh, Southern California here, Steve. Uh, we buy five dozen eggs at a time. Last week it was 9.48, and yesterday it was 14.48. Proverb says, uh, southern, uh, southern, South Central Nebraska, the latest virus is hitting this area hard, vomiting, diarrhea, and joint pain. I have one friend very ill. My son is currently at ER, and his roommate is considering going to the ER. Dehydration is severe, and I am trying to limit uh, my contact with everyone. Uh, please be paying attention to that, folks. Uh, pay attention to your hydration levels. Drinking water is not enough to stay hydrated, of course. Make sure you're taking electrolytes as well. Um, so be thinking about that. Uh, if you're feeling super, super sick, uh, you know, do what you can at home, right? Because if you go to the ER right now, hospitals and ERs are overwhelmed right now with everyone being sick. Um, so be, be prepared for a long wait if you go to the hospital. Uh, so think those things through as well. Uh, Ritteru says, uh, New York City. I am saddened when I read the New York Post articles about food waste in the USA. Here's one I just read. Uh, the New York City migrant contractor tossed out thousands of uneaten taxpayer-funded meals a day. Uh, this is from DocGo, uh, which was awarded a hefty $432 million no-bid contract uh, by Mayor Adams. Wonder how much got kicked back, right? Um, to help relocate some migrants upstate. He rec they received $33 per day per migrant. Now, $33 a day food, I don't spend anywhere close to that amount. Um, and I I'd imagine most of you don't either. That that's crazy. But not only are they spending $33 per day per migrant, but for three meals a day, uh, 4,000 asylum seekers in its care. The New York Times reported a significant number of those meals, however, are being trashed, with more than 70,000 being wasted between um, 20, uh, October 22nd and November 22nd. 70,000 in one month. Unbelievable. With more than 5,000 meals for asylum seekers are thrown out on November 6th alone record show. And remember, that's $11 per meal. 70000 times $11, we're looking at almost $800,000 of food thrown away. Only in New York City. And those aren't even for U.S. citizens. You're not even, you're not even allowed. Nope, that's for, that's for people who aren't even legally here. Uh, daughter says... Um, Australia, they are about to send uh, a warship to the Red Sea, and th 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 that war is growing. Uh, we're going to talk about that more in depth this afternoon. I'm going to walk you through kind of some of the historical background of what's going on with that and why in the world it is going to be an absolute disaster if the United States gets involved in Yemen. Unbelievable. Um, Maybe if you elect me in there into Congress or something like that, maybe I can do something more. But all I can do is just whine and complain with you guys. <laughs> just looking in from the outside, rough. Uh, I don't want to go to Congress. <laughs> but uh, Amy in Lynchburg, Virginia, I just received a lease from my tenant that she mailed in August. It came in a, we're sorry we mangled this envelope from the post office bag. Uh, I noticed that uh, not only was the envelope totally digested, destroyed, torn, it had been postmarked and the stamps were torn off. Thanks, post office. A check I mailed to a contractor never arrived, so I dropped off the new deposit check at their home. Three weeks later, after I, I took the second check, five weeks from mailing, it arrived in the contractor's mailbox. How are you supposed to do business like this? This is like a third world country. Uh, the post postage is not getting where it needs to go. If you're mailing critical things, friends, be careful. Be careful out there. I, I just got my passport renewed and I had to send them my passport. And uh, I was there like, what should I send this in? <laughs> right, my passport application with my old passport. 
and uh, I had to get a priority mail thing for that so that it didn't get lost or chewed up by some machine. I got it back, so I'm good to go. So uh, I'll be heading overseas uh, shortly, hopefully, uh, on some trips, but uh, we'll see. Uh, James says, uh, almost all imported olive oil is adulterated with soybean oil. Uh, That's what we're kind of been talking about. No matter the label, exporting tr countries do not require the olive oil labels to uh, admit that they're uh, not being pure. Uh, the way you check your oil is to place it in the fridge. If it semi-solidifies when cold, it is pure. If it remains easily pourable, it is cut. I have checked a number of different brands and haven't found a pure one yet. Uh, hi, Steve. Yep, I have two weeks left on my contract and have pretty much started begging them uh, for them to extend or hire me for a role. Uh, pray. And uh, a lot of people struggling with, with jobs and such. They continued on. Uh, my father delivers prescriptions slash flowers for our local market to keep busy and to get a little bit of extra income. He's 78. He is at the market every day several times, um, and he uh, mentioned that the store was jam-packed on Saturday. Beyond usual activity and the holidays, perhaps uh, the movie. Uh, there's a Civil War movie, and then there's also a... Uh, that, I don't think that one's released yet, but then there's a, a prepping movie that's out there, apparently. Um, perhaps the movie woke up some folks uh, because no one has money uh, for festivity shopping. Uh, and we live fairly well out here in the Berkshires. Uh, peace. Uh, it also may be like um, a lot of people kind of put off their Christmas shopping until the very last minute. Uh, that may be a lot of people because they're, they're just trying to get caught up on their bills. And then finally, it's like the last weekend, they had to get their Christmas shopping in. Uh, so, uh, well, it's not, uh, it's not Christmas Eve yet, so I'm not, I'm not quite done my Christmas shopping yet either. So <laughs> I'm one of those people, I guess. Uh, Joan says, a friend who lives in Shanghai says that there are over 500 cargo and container ships collecting seaweed and sludge five kilometers outside the city. Uh, many are registered to Panama. Now, a lot of ships are registered in Panama, of course. Uh, New Mexico says uh, shortages in southern New Mexico. Over-the-counter cold slash flu products are not available for pickup at our rural Walmart. They're allowing online purchase, but limit one per order. Over-the-counter cough syrup and stuff like that and, all, and cough drops, one per order. Uh, please review your med medicine cabinet, folks. It's going to be a rough winter. Make sure you're picking up that stuff beforehand because if you're sick and you send somebody to the store and they get to the counter and there's just like all the cough syrup and all the cough uh, um, drops and all that other kind of stuff are all gone, what are you going to do then? Uh, make sure you're stocked up, folks. Uh, Omen K says uh, in UK, Hampshire, Hampshire, I guess, uh, witnessed a few pharmacies say to check with the doctor for alternative meds as the system doesn't show if they will get another shipment. So it's not just the United States, but the UK as well. Often joint painkillers um, are in very short supply. Car market over here has crashed 40 to 70% in the last two months. Car insurance companies are desperate to avoid payments, uh, demanding more documents than mortgage applications. So uh, be careful out there if you do get in an accident and you need to collect on insurance. Uh, ran in Sioux Falls City in South Dakota after yesterday's show uh, where the water was running out, uh, we reported that here, uh, or non-existent, we went out to Walmart for our normal Monday shopping. Well, we went to Walmart and all the uh, 40 and 20 pack uh, drinking water bottles were missing. In fact, there was only the uh, five, uh, there's only five packs of five, 12 packs of Aquafina water left. We decided to visit another Walmart and we found the same situation. So the bottled water out there is getting scarce for some reason, folks. And um, if there is any kind of disaster or winter storm or something like that, that will cause a lot of problems. We have had a lot of flooding uh, up in the New England area. And down south, there's been a bunch of flooding too. So uh, maybe maybe water's being diverted to those uh, those disasters. But uh, that seemed to be happening before the disasters. But Diane says, uh, update of our store in Upper Michigan had four pounds of sugar on sale for two packs for four dollars. 
a couple weeks ago. Today it was two packs for uh, $7. So almost double the price of sugar. Um, that just kind of lets you know what's kind of going on out there. Please do keep your reports coming in. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to check out another video from this channel, there's one right up here. If you want to check out what uh, Genesis Gold Group uh, has to say or what they can do for you um, with your retirement account, there's a link right there. Thanks so much for watching. Steve Poplar of the Poplar Report, out.